Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Please see the question on the screen. We have to find the square of 4p minus 3q. It is comparable to our identity number 2. a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Substituting a as 4p and b as 3q in the identity, we get the following expression. Now let's solve it further. We get 16 p square minus 24 p q plus 9 q square which is the required answer. Let's move to example 12 part 2. We have to find the square of 4.9. To solve this question it would be much easier if we use the identity a minus b whole square. We start with writing 4.9 whole square is same as 5.0 minus 0 0.1 whole square and substitute in our identity we get 5.0 whole square minus 2 into 5.0 into 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 whole square. This will give us 25.00 minus 1.00 plus 0 0.01 which is equal to 24.01 Please see the question on the slide. We have to multiply the two binomials 3 by 2m plus 2 by 3n with 3 by 2m minus 2 by 3n. This question is comparable to our identity number 3 a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square substituting a as 3 by 2m and b as 2 by 3n we get 9 by 4 m square minus 4 by 9 n square as the required answer. Please see the question on the slide. It can be done much easily if we use our third identity reversely. We can use a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b which is our third identity reversely and easily complete this question. Let us substitute a as 983 and b as 17. Then we get 1000 multiply by 966 which will give us 9,66,000 as the required answer. Let's solve the question on the slide. We have to multiply 194 with 206. We can write 194 as 200 minus 6 and we can write 206 as 200 plus 6. Now 
this becomes comparable with a minus b into a plus b and very similar to our identity a square minus b square so let's use our identity number 3 we get 200 whole square minus 6 whole square which comes out to be 40,000 minus 36 which is equal to 39,964 which is the required answer. Let us start with the question on the slide. We have to multiply 501 with 502. This can be easily done by direct multiplication. But to understand our identity number 4 which says x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b times x plus a b. Let us write this question as Five hundred one multiplied by five hundred two is same as five hundred plus one multiplied by five hundred plus two and use our identity to solve it. We can clearly see that we have five hundred as x, one as a, and two as b. And in substituting the formula, we get the following expression. Now it remains to solve and we get the required answer as 2,51,502. Similarly, we can use identity number 4 to solve 95 multiplied by 103 which can be written as 100 minus 5 multiplied by 100 plus 3 and now we can substitute x as 100 a as minus 5 and b as plus 3 on substituting the values in our identity and solving we will get 9785 as the required answer.